हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई एजुकेशनल चैनल मैथ वॉइज ट्वेंटी फॉर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम ग्रेड वन ऑनवर्ड्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू फ्रैक्शंस वन हाफ एंड वन फोर्थ विद द हेल्प ऑफ बेसिक शेप्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द एक्चुअल टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वन स्टोरी ऑफ टू कैट्स एंड अ मंकी वन डे टू कैट्स स्टोल अ पैनकेक फ्रॉम अ किचन both of them ran and sat in a safe place under a tree then they both started fighting for eating full pancake they didn't know how to divide it equally the, the clever monkey jumped and sat in between the two cats and asked what was the matter one of the cats said we don't know how to divide this pancake between us so monkey said don't worry i will divide the pancake equally for both of you so the monkey what he did he started dividing it so you can see when he made two pieces one piece was big the other was small then again he divided it then the bigger piece became small and the smaller piece became big so like that he continued when there was only a very small piece remaining the monkey said what did the monkey say this is my share for the work and quickly ate the last piece and jumped back on the tree the cats didn't know what happened they just had a big question mark this happened because the cats didn't know how to make equal pieces so you better learn how to make half and quarter pieces let us learn how to divide a shape into half and quarter for that take one whole four sided shape this is a rectangle here opposite sides are equal you can watch class 1 video on shapes to learn more about shapes now fold this shape into two equal parts so when you fold it into two equal parts you can see there is a mark here that is known as a crease now you cut along the crease with the help of a scissors now when you do like this what happens you will get two equal parts this we can write mathematically as one whole split into two parts gives half or one half and it is written as 1 by 2 i'll again write it each part is called one half of the whole written as 1 by 2 one part out of two equal parts is 1 by 2 1 by 2 means one part out of two equal parts how do you read it it is read as 1 over 2 or 1 by 2 so half is part of one whole this is one half and this is another half a part of a whole is called a fraction consider the two half pieces now when they join two halves make a whole again consider another circular shape here again if you cut it horizontally you can separate it into two half pieces same as before if they join it will become one whole two more examples here it is cut vertically and here also it is cut vertically now let's write in 1 by 2 one above the line is called the numerator and two below the line is called the denominator number of parts we are talking about is the numerator one whole we are talking about one whole and the total number of parts which we are making is called the denominator two so two halves make a whole now above and below you have already learned in the first chapter on position words part 2 you can watch the video again if you want to know more about above and below here one is above the line and two is below the line now let's learn about quarters take a square shape fold the shape into four equal parts and cut it along both vertically and horizontally then what happens 
you get four parts like this and each part is 1 by 4 that 1 over 4 or 1 by 4 is called 1 quarter and mathematically we can write it like this 1 whole split into 4 parts is equal to 1 quarter or you can just say quarter or 1 fourth is equal to 1 by 4 in 1 by 4 1 above the line is called the numerator and 4 below the line is called the denominator and here 4 quarters make a whole now let's see how we can divide a square into two equal parts a square can be divided equally by cutting it along the diagonal this way or you can cut it along vertically or horizontally in the same way a circle can be divided into two parts by cutting it along horizontally and also here you can cut it along vertically so two halves make a whole let's do the last part of fractions consider a circle this is a circle and you can divide it into four equal parts how can you divide it into four equal parts see here this way now each part is 1 by 4 same way here see each part is 1 by 4 but if you want to divide a square into four equal parts you cut it diagonally or you can cut it vertically and horizontally you get four equal parts so a fraction is part of a whole and four quarters make a whole i hope you understood and if you have liked the video and if you have understood please don't forget to give me a thumbs up share and subscribe for more exciting videos and in the next video i would be doing types of fractions so don't miss it please do join me again for more videos on fractions goodbye everyone